What's going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back as training camp is getting underway. The content's coming back. It's been a while since we had one of these kinds of videos. We've been streaming Madden, but it's nice to be back talking about Colts football. We're going to have plenty to talk about as the weeks go on with training camp starting up. It's not going to be as drama filled as the last couple years, specifically last season with the Jonathan Taylor situation, but we are going to have plenty to talk about. There's plenty of things uh, that I want to get by you guys and run by you guys over these next few weeks. And where we're going to start is, of course, with the quarterback. Everything starts and ends with the quarterback position. I want to talk about our guy, Anthony Richardson, and how he's an obvious answer for somebody that's going to have a breakout season in 2024. Now, of course, Everything we talk about with any of these guys that we're going to talk about with breakouts over these next few days, it's if they stay healthy. Okay, that's anybody in the NFL. As long as they stay healthy, they can produce. Okay, so Anthony Richardson, assuming he's able to stay healthy, will be one of these guys that breaks out in 2024, and I think there's really no doubt about that. Um, there are a few people that doubt that, and I think the only doubters really um, are people that think he's probably going to get hurt again. But in my opinion, like when you look at it, and, and a lot of people's opinion, when you look at what he was able to do last year and a little bit uh, that we were able to see him, I think it's just clear that this is a guy that was more NFL ready than anybody really expected him to be. Um, he obviously does have some things that he needs to work on on the field, you know, so some minor things that coming into his rookie season, we kind of expected him to need to work on, right? The short to intermediate uh, accuracy and not, you know, gunning the ball in so fast on those passes, which go hand in hand. Those two things uh, work in conjunction there. If he can get a handle on that, he'll He'll be good, right? The deep balls, um, he's pretty spot on. He can throw as far as anybody, maybe the furthest in the NFL. So, you know, when you look at Anthony Richardson and look at what he's going to be able to do in 2024, right, and you, you have to look at what he was able to do in his rookie season. And he starts in Jacksonville. Yeah, we lose week one in Jacksonville. But in the first game he ever played in the NFL, 24 for 37, uh, 223, one touchdown, one interception. Now, the interception was pretty costly, right? And it was a veteran DB that baited him in to throw in that pass. Um, he sank on on his, his zone covers there and was able to get the interception. So for, for Anthony Richardson, like it was a good showing coming out and then he goes into the next week against Houston and throwing the ball he ends up six for 10 56 yards but running the ball he ends up scoring two touchdowns got us to an early lead in that game looked like it was about to be a big time blowout there in Houston um, there in the first half it really was anyways even when Gardner came in you know Houston scored a couple touchdowns there in the second half to make it look a little closer but um, at the end of the day Anthony Richardson through his first two games looked really good comes out against the Rams after missing the week three in Baltimore looks really bad in the first half things aren't going well ends the game 11 to 25 for 200 yards but has two touchdowns which helped us bring uh, this game back Colts were down, I believe, 23-0 at one point. End up losing this game 29-23, but took it to overtime, tied at 23. And then against Tennessee, 23-16, played really well up until he got the injury uh, at the, in the shoulder that ended up keeping him out for the rest of the season. It was 9 for 12 for 98 yards. So a little up and down in different areas. Um, but, you know, coming in, as, as I started and as I kept watching more of Anthony Richardson, right, we drafted Anthony Richardson. I started looking at some of his uh, college highlights, you know, the stuff that you would find online um, and, and started trying to pick that apart, be nicky picky about that. And then what you saw in training camp last year and then kind of what you were able to see during the season and taking all that into account, like I'm at a point where Anthony Richardson can run the ball, but Anthony Richardson is more... A, a thrower that can run rather than a running quarterback um, that needs to work on his passing, right? So I think Anthony Richardson uh, coming into his second year, easily a breakout candidate coming into this season. I don't think um, anybody's really going to deny that. The only thing people can say against that is, hey, this guy might end up getting hurt. But in my opinion, I think Anthony Richardson is going to be one of the top quarterbacks this season um, with the abilities that he has. If he stays healthy for 17 games, he could 
easily end up as an MVP candidate. So not only are we talking about breakout, like could this be comeback player of the year? Could this be an MVP candidate, offensive player of the year? Like Anthony Richardson, the sky is the limit for him and what he's capable of, right? Throwing the ball, running the ball, the team that's around him, right? We bring in A.D. Mitchell. The offensive line got back to form, and Tony Sperano Jr. and, and his offensive line staff, they seem to have these guys right where they need them. Okay, Quinn Nelson was on busting with the boys with Taylor Lewan and Will Compton a few weeks ago, and he was talking about that relationship and how good Sperano and that coaching staff has been and why they were able to be so good last season and why they should be so good this season. Makes me hopeful for the future with guys like Tanner Bordellini and Matt Gonzalez, guys that we drafted this year to be cornerstones of the offensive line in the future. So with everything around Anthony Richardson, like people talking about, oh, with what Caleb Williams has like it's the best situation for any rookie and it is right he has a great situation to walk into there with the Bears Um, but for second year quarterbacks like CJ Stroud has a really good cast around him but hey guess what Anthony Richardson has a really good cast around him too I think this defense has a chance to take the next step as long as certain guys are able to stay healthy and that's what we're going to talk about tomorrow so make sure you subscribe with notifications on as we're going to continue talking about breakout candidates and so much more as uh, as the weeks go on also training camp updates going to be getting those to you guys so got plenty of content coming up so again make sure you subscribe have notifications on and as always take care of yourself take care of each other and go colts